in here, you know, from the honey roasted peanuts. <laughs> Y'all know I'm silly. It's your girl, Miss Nikki, DVD International, Miss Nikki's Dollhouse, Hair Beauty Fashion Serenade. Listen, I am not under the delusion that weave is my hair. But because I do purchase it, it's so, my. Anywho, I'm cute without it. Plastic bag, cap. Beauty hers, this is what we do in order to, you know, create a look. We are not afraid of who we are without hair, with hair, whatever the case may be. Well, I'm not. I don't know about the rest of America, but <laughs> hair is designed to enhance the beauty you already have. And Miss Monroe Pearl is going to put her goddess, goddess hands all up in my head and make the diva. Right. Hey, so I sure am. So, let me go ahead and tell you a few steps um, before we begin, because you might probably be wondering, what exactly is this plastic bag and this cap doing on this lady's head? <laughs> well, first of all, we want to make sure that we're going to protect the hair. So, what you can do is go and get you, you know, a plastic bag from up under your counter or go to the grocery store and get a plastic bag. Any plastic bag will work. Shower cap. Shower cap. There yeah. are little plastic caps that you can buy in a beauty supply store to put underneath here. We just wasn't going to do it. So, understand there are budget ways. There are baller ways. They have caps. They have all different types of ways to protect your natural hair. Yeah. I'm 100% natural. I don't do perms or hair colors and things of that nature, permanent colors or things of that nature. So, my hair is curly. I don't want no glue or anything in my hair. So whatever, by any means necessary, we will protect yes, the natural will. process of the hair. So that's you. So yeah. Um, then the next step will be to go ahead and put you on a plastic, a piece of not plastic, but a wig cap. You can purchase these wig caps at these plastic stores, like she said, Sally's, Walmart. Anything will do as long as we're protecting the hair. And we're also going to be using the rose. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, she's going to have me doing one of these. Inches. Thick as most roomy hair. Um, when you glide your hands through it, as you can see, my hand glides straight down. The hair does not stand up, nor does it go against the grain, so therefore you know it's some really good cuticle A-grade hair. So let's go ahead and start. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and lay the track down on her hair. Make sure that it's secured. And we're going to measure from ear to ear her hair. When you get to the other side of the ear, you're going to stop. So, Miss Nikki, yes. the style that you're wanting to create today, mm -hmm. you're going for what kind of look? What can Rose provide for you? I am going with that old Hollywood glamour, you know, since I am, you know, a grand diva and all. Okay. So, I want it long, full, and, you know, I heard that the fuller, the, the closer the tracks lay together, the fuller the hair. Is that true? And that is true. Oh. Um, by doing so, you're creating um, volume in the hair. You're also making sure that you're not leaving any spaces for your cap to show as well. And if you're just noticing what am I doing with the iron, what I did was press the actual track to heat it up so that I can put the adhesive on there, which is the glue. This actually allows for your track to last longer mm -hmm. in your head. Cap, sometimes you may tend to sweat, and you don't want the, um, you don't really necessarily want your track to slip out, so why not add some heat? That's a quick little pointer. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, not that I'm going to do it, but for all you beautiful hairstylists out there, Learning tricks for the trade, y'all. Tricks for the trade. All of us women want that long-lasting hair. That is true. That so is you true. said it is true that if you put the tracks close together, it's fuller. Honey, well, I want my track laying on top of each other. <laughs> well, I want them today. snug in a bug, honey. I want them all together. Say I want them snug in a bug, honey. I want... <laughs> I want them to be able to congregate on every level at all times. <laughs> I don't want nail track missing each other. We don't do stingy weaves over here. And we're just going to create the same process that we just did, measuring the track from ear to ear. Miss Nikki, do you feel any glue coming in your hair? I don't. I okay. do not feel any glue at all. Because if I did, I'd have got up and punched you in your socket. <laughs> Y'all heard that? She said she's going to punch you in my socket. <laughs> 
No, I'm just playing. I don't play that though. Uh, the mark of a good hairstylist knows that Miss Nikki do not like glue on her scalp. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And don't be afraid to use glue either. Some people are very afraid to use glue because they feel like, oh my God, you know, my hair might mess up or, you know, this, that, and the third. But it's all good. So what we're going to do at this time is allow Monroe Pearl to go ahead and lay all the way up so far this fabulous hair the rose by velvet and the outre brand honey we're going to go ahead and let her get a little further into her installation and then we'll be back into and two